kids, my name's Hannah and I'm an education aide here at Charleston County Parks. Welcome to Nature in Your Neighborhood. Spring is sprung in the low country, so today let's talk about everyone's favorite hoppin' critter, the eastern cottontail rabbit. The eastern cottontail rabbit isn't picky when it comes to habitat, and they can be found in open sunny fields such as this one all the way over from the east coast to the Great Plains. These rabbits are mostly brown with a white belly, but during the colder months, their brown fur turns a little bit more gray. They're named for their white cotton tail. Can you think of another species that got its name from its appearance? You may have heard that rabbits are rodents, which is untrue. Rabbits are actually lagomorphs and are a close relative of rodents. Females are called does and males are called bucks, just like deer. The eastern cottontail is an herbivore, which means they love to eat on plant material. They love to munch on grasses, will eat strawberries, clover, and a bunch of different garden herbs and crops. If you own a pet rabbit, you may have noticed that they appear to have the icky tendency to eat their own poop, but you may be relieved to hear that it's not actually poop that they're eating. You see, a rabbit's diet is so nutrient-packed that it's impossible for their gut to absorb all of the nutrients the first time around, so they produce these cecotrophs, a special kind of dropping that contains all of the leftover nutrients that they weren't able to absorb the first time around. Your rabbit will then enjoy these cecotrophs as a healthy, tasty snack. Can you think of another animal that eats something you and I might think is yucky, but is actually very nutritious? The breeding season lasts from February to September usually, and females can have up to one or seven litters a year, containing one to 12 kits per litter. That means up to 84 kits a year. The female will create a shallow depression in the dirt and line it with soft materials such as leaves and her own hair. The babies are born altricial, which means they require constant care from their mother, just like a human newborn. During the springtime, it's common for people to stumble upon a rabbit nest and think that the babies have been abandoned. That's because mom doesn't hover around the rabbit nest. Instead, she forages nearby, but may not be visible to you. She does this in order to avoid drawing predators towards her nest. Rabbit kids don't stay in the nest for long. By four to five weeks old, they're usually ready to take on the world by themselves. Can you guys think of an animal that has lots of babies at a time? Or what about an animal that has only one to two babies at a time? The eastern cottontail rabbit is generally solitary, with each rabbit patrolling its own territory. They are crepuscular, which means they're most active at dawn and dusk. Can you guys think of any other animals that might be crepuscular? They are speed machines and can run up to 18 miles an hour, and they can make all sorts of different sounds. When they're sorted by predators, these rabbits can be super loud. These rabbits are a huge source of food for many different animals around the low country, including bobcats, snakes, eagles, and even people. You can help rabbit families by teaching the people in your life about their behavior. I hope you guys learned a little bit about rabbits today. Thank you for tuning in to Nature in Your Neighborhood. We'll see you next time.